Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to show you how to program a peaking phase for your vertical jump so that you could jump as high as possible, so that you could take all the work that you've previously been doing in the recent weeks and months during your max strength phase, so that you could take all of this work that you've been doing and realize it during a peaking phase in a higher vertical jump. And recently, I posted a video called How to Maintain Your Strength During a Peaking Phase, and I got a whole bunch of people saying, you didn't even have to show us how to do a peaking phase first. All right, all right. I, all right, bro, all right. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So, I have an agenda. Normally, I just do these videos off the top of the dome piece, but I have an agenda right here. It just looks like a bunch of chicken scratch so that I stay on course, because if not, I'll just ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble. So, let's lock in, let's get focused, and let's talk about how to program a peaking phase for your vertical jump so that you can dunk on your friends, your family, your teammates, your coworkers, your, 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 your recent son or daughter that you just had. The first thing that you need to understand is how I program training for my athletes. Now you don't have to do it like this, but it should look a little something like this. So whenever I program uh, training for my athletes, I start with a tendon strength phase unless they don't have any knee pain at all and never have, okay? So first thing is a tendon strength phase, then there's a building phase, then there's a max strength phase, then there's a speed strength phase. It's actually a strength speed phase. I need to stop saying that because they're two different things. It is a strength speed phase and then there is a peaking phase. And the general idea of it is that you build up your strength and then you start to turn that strength into explosiveness. And once you get into your peaking phase, you are peaking your vertical jump and jumping as high as possible. So that's the first thing we need to know is that is how I program training for my athletes. You don't have to do it that way, but I would do something that looks similar to this. Now, when it comes to a peaking phase, we are going to generally be using lighter weights because with light weights, you can move the weight faster. So generally we use lighter lighter weights or body weights and we do accelerated movements or we do movements focusing on velocity, trying to move the weight as fast as possible. So let's just real very quickly think about a back squat. If you have a lot of weight on the bar, you are not going to be able to move the weight very fast, but you are going to increase your force and increase a lot of strength. So the heavier the weight, the more force you are working on, the lighter the weight and the faster you can move it, the more velocity you're working on. So there's something called the force velocity curve. So I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what the force velocity curve looks like, but you can see as you get heavier in one rep max, so we got maximum strength 90 to 100% of our one rep max, you're going to be developing more force. And as you get lighter in weight, you can move that weight faster and you start working on more velocity than force. So for strength speed, we are using 80 to 90% of our one rep max. For peak power, 30 to 80% of our one rep max. Speed strength is 30 to 60% of our one rep max and then maximum velocity is 30% one rep max or less. So you could see that when it's when they're talking about peak power that 30 to 80% range, you are this is why that range of percentage of your one rep max is so good for vertical jump because you're improving force and you're improving velocity. So the weight is heavy enough to improve your force, but it's not so heavy that you can't move the weight fast. So you're working that force and velocity at the same time. You can see how during a peaking phase you are going to want to use lighter weights so that you can move the weights as fast as possible, focusing on as much velocity as possible. Now, let me also remind you that there is an equation for vertical jump. There is an equ a mathematical equation that we can use to increase our vertical jump. It is force times velocity equals power. Vertical jump is nothing more than a test of power output, how powerful you are. The more power you can output, the more high, the higher your vertical jump is going to be. So this is why in different times, in different phases, we want to work on force in some phases, and then we want to take that force and we want to start to develop it into more velocity so we're not just strong, we don't wanna be the super strong dude who can't jump over a jelly bean, we want to eventually turn that into velocity. And if you're smart, you're going to be doing velocity-based movements, jumping-based movements, power-based movements during your max strength phase. You're not just gonna focus on strength, you're going to focus on mainly strength and also be doing jumping and also be doing plyometrics and also be doing some velocity movements during that phase. But once you come down to the peaking phase, you're going to do mainly velocity. And that is when my other video comes in of how do you maintain your strength? Every fourth workout, you just do a heavy day, okay? So you have three peaking workouts and then you have a heavy day. That's how you maintain your strength. But the focus is velocity and the focus is peaking your vertical jump. So we have now made it to the conclusion of this video and I'm going to go through one of my very own peaks 
peaking workouts that I plug in for my athletes. This is week one, day one of my peaking phase, and I'll tell you which exercises I do and why. So I'm gonna pop it on the screen right here, and here we go. The first thing that I do is a dynamic warm up. then we do reverse dead mills for six minutes, then we jump rope three sets of one minute, then you can see we got speed squats with bands, superset with band accelerated squat jumps. So the speed squats with bands is 35% one rep max, and we have five sets of 15 seconds. So we are doing 15 seconds of squats, trying to get as many reps as we possibly can in that 15 seconds. Then when we come back to this workout repeatedly during the peaking phase, we are constantly trying to get more reps in the same amount of time using the same weight. So if we keep the weight at 35% of our one rep max, and we keep the time at 15 seconds, and all we focus on is getting more reps, if at the end of the peaking phase, you can get more reps in 15 seconds than you can at the beginning. Let's say at the beginning, in 15 seconds, you get 15 reps. But by the end of the peaking phase, you get 23 reps. But we're using the same weight in the same time. That means that you have effectively increased your rate of force development during the peaking phase. And you are now, you have increased velocity. And trust me, it will transfer into your vertical jump, making sure that you could dunk on anyone. We superset the squats with band accelerated squat jumps. So we're doing over speed exercises. And we'll the band accelerated squat jumps, we are making sure to work our muscles as quickly as possible, more quickly than we could just do normally without the band. We are using the band to assist us so that we are making sure that our muscles understand we want to move fast. So if we use overspeed exercises, we are teaching our body, you need to keep up with this because your body can't move that fast by itself. So we are teaching our body, you need to adapt to these overspeed exercises and you need to get faster. Then we move into trap bar deadlifts and we got the same thing. We got five sets, 15 seconds with 35% one rep max. You're just doing as many trap bar deadlifts as you can in 15 seconds. And every time that you come back to this workout in the program or in the peaking phase, you are trying to get more reps in the same amount of time with the same weight. Superset that with band accelerated vertical jumps. Same principle, we want that over speed to teach our body to work faster and get faster, improving velocity and rate of force development. And then at the end, we have some approach jumps, six jumps off of our worst approach, five off of our second worst approach, four jumps off of our second best and then three off of our best approach. So for me personally, just so you guys understand what that means, for me, it is six jumps off of my right leg, five jumps off of my left right two foot approach, four jumps off my left leg because that's my second best jump, and then three jumps off my right left because that is my best approach. I am a two foot jumper. My right left is my best. So we want to practice jump balance and try to bring up our weaker approaches and get them even with our stronger approaches. But that is what a peaking workout looks looks like, and then I would program that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on that fourth one, I would go back and have a heavy day, and then I would program it again, 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 heavy day, peaking, 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 heavy day, peaking, 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 heavy day. So that is how you maintain your strength during a peaking phase, and this is how to program a peaking phase, and this is why you want to use lighter weights because you can increase more velocity, and that is the whole purpose of a peaking phase, and that will help you increase your vertical jump and realize all of the work that you've been previously doing and actualize your potential in a higher vertical vertical jump during that peaking phase. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, jump down below if you want a free vertical jump training program, and I will see you guys in the next video. Young b Smoke from the East Coast, a young kid with a West Coast feel, and I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold, the city made of steel, where a lot of n****s fold, only couple keep it real right, back still keep it real tight, keep two L's just like Cool J, my heart's cold as Ice Cube, praying it's a good day, I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way. I'm